All right, so to begin, you want a large sheet of white paper, and you want a stencil. If you are a boy, you will get the boy stencil. If you are a girl, you will get the girl stencil. So I am a girl, and the only difference is the girl is wearing a dress and the boy is wearing pants. That's just how we tell the difference. And you lay it down, and you want to trace it. Now you can see I've already started. What I want you to notice, look how close to the top the head is. Look how close to the bottom the feet are. The stencil fills up your entire paper. And you want to make sure you're holding it tight with your free hand while you draw with your other hand. All right, remove your stencil. All right, so this is a girl. I'm going to have to make some marks to show where like the clothing starts, such as the neck and the sleeves. So what I'm gonna do for the girl, right here, here's the neck. You just wanna make a letter U. Right there. And then on the sleeves, you can see kind of where the sleeves are, and you just have to connect with a line. And then down here at the bottom, you can tell where the dress ends, and you just connect, connect. And then what I like to do is I like to add shoes. And if you want to give yourself some socks, you can give yourself some socks. Okay? So that is how we do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to do that on a boy. So same thing, you would just want to draw a curved line under the face to show where the shirt begins on the neck. Connect the sleeves. And a boy is a little different. You can keep it like this, but I'm going to draw a line right here to show where the shirt is separated from the pants. And then I'm going to draw lines here for the shoes. So that's a boy. Okay. Now before we do any coloring, I do want us to draw the face. So to draw a picture of ourselves, you want to start with drawing two eyes. And you want to think of eyes not as circles, but as football shapes. So, football shape, it's like you draw like a hill, and then you just draw kind of like a smiley face underneath it. And then you got to make another one on this side. A hill and then a smiley face underneath it. <clears throat> what you don't want to do is draw like a big hill and then a big smiley face underneath it because what you've done there is you've created an oval and we want a football. Okay? Inside your football shapes, that's where you will draw your circle. And then inside that circle, draw another circle. Okay, and then you want to give yourself some eyelashes. Those are just little lines. Do them on the top and do you can do very small ones underneath. Then you want to give yourself an eyelid, so that's just a curved line above your eye. And an eyebrow, so you go up. Go up curved line. Not too hard. Now the nose is going to be in between your eyes, so you come down right in between your eyes, just draw a letter U. And then you want to draw a mouth. So I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to draw a nice smiley mouth. Not going to go too crazy. Alright, and I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I know I don't have hair, I don't have ears or anything like that, but that's okay. So your next step is you want to come back and you want to pick out 
a pink color and this is going to be the color of your skin so if you have light skin you're going to want to pick a light pink color if you have darker skin you're going to want to pick a darker pink color so just look at your skin what color is it and you will pick out the appropriate kind of paint so there's mine I have pretty light skin and I'm going to get use a paintbrush. I am not going to dip this paintbrush in water. It can just go right into the paint and dry, and it will work. So anywhere I can see skin, I'm going to paint with the skin color. So that means I will paint my face. I am not going to paint my eyes. They are a different color. Now the paint is getting on top of the pencil. That is okay. We're going to go back with a permanent marker to fill those in. So when you paint around the eyes, just slow down, put your brush down, go very slow. And you should be okay. You don't want to go like this with your paintbrush. That never looks nice. You always want to drag it one direction. Smooth it out as you go. I don't want to get this color into my shirt, so I go slow. Now that my face is painted in, I want to paint my hands. I'm going to paint my legs. That is finished. Now I want to get my bucket of water in front of me and I want to rinse this brush off. I want to get all that paint off. Don't splash it. Just gently rinse. Dab it on the side. Get more off. Now I'm going to switch types of paint. So this was liquid tempera. Now I'm going to move to tempera cakes. Tempera cakes are just a little less messy to use. So you want to pick whatever color you want to use in your tempera cake tray. Get your paintbrush wet. Rub it into the paint that you want. And then I want you to paint the dress or the shirt and the pants. So when I paint, I like to go around my edges first. That kind of helps me stay in my lines. I'm painting in one direction, back and forth, up and down. I'm not switching and going side to side. This is what's going to help your paint look really neat and tidy. So kind of like you don't want to scribble when you color, same thing, you don't want to scribble when you paint. Okay, now that you have your clothing complete and you want to decide what color you want to do your shoes, Once we're done with this, we want this paint to dry, and then we can add more stuff on top of it. Alright, so here's one I did of the boy, and we just let that dry. Okay, so what you want to do once your paint is dry is you want to start cutting it out. And you just want to be careful whenever you cut on a curve, turn that paper. Don't really turn your scissors. So look how my hands way on the opposite side. Nice and safe. 
cut off big chunks if they get in your way, set them to the side, and then go back in. You recycle your scraps. And then what you want to do is you want to get a black permanent marker and you want to outline your football shaped eyes. Outline the circles. That middle circle inside the eye, I want you to color that all black. That's called your pupil. Eyelashes, eyelid, eyebrows, outline all of that. And you should be able to still see it a little bit through your paint. And then you want to get some construction paper crayons out. And um, you want to color in your eyes. If you can't find the right color for your eyes, maybe use your regular crayons. So this is a regular crayon. I'm coloring brown. You don't want to have like, you know, crazy colored eyes like purple eyes or anything like that. Like brown, blue, green, something like that. And then you can use the construction paper crayons if you wanted to design something on your um, clothing. So let's say you wanted to create just some designs. You want to put buttons or patterns, your favorite t-shirt, whatever it is you want to put on here. Do this with construction paper crayons. And then what you want to do is you need to create some hair. So you want to think about, number one, what color hair do you have? Number two, how long is your hair? So I'm going to play pretend. I'm going to pretend this really isn't me, and I'm going to give myself some yellow hair. Just because I'm my boy, I gave him brown hair. But I want to see what yellow hair looks like. So if I'm a girl, I might need some longer pieces. So I'm just going to go through my scrap bucket, and I'm going to cut some pieces into skinny strips like this. I'm not drawing at first, I'm just putting my scissors over a little bit, cutting straight up. And this is going to create strands of hair. And you want to get um, a decent amount cut before we glue. Now, I think I do want to put bangs on my hair, so for bangs, I will make shorter strands. And a lot of this is going to depend on the way you want your hair to look, okay? So I'll start with the bangs. What I'll do is I'll put glue on the strip. And you want to test it. If it's too long, maybe cut it before you glue, put any glue on it. There we go. That looks much better. And bangs are the pieces of hair that kind of come down onto your forehead. Now I'm going to make, I'm going to glue on these longer strands. So I want these strands to kind of fall down onto the shoulder. So I'm just going to put some glue here at the top and lay it down. And I'm going to let this just kind of flop up so that way I can move that. But this will be nice and secure up here. And I want to put a few on each side. So I just glue a little bit, lay it onto the face. You just want to get it where you like it, and then right now, some of these are kind of coming up off the circle of my head, so I'm just going to trim them. There we go. Alright, so here is my girl, and here is my boy. You can tell with the boy, I just did some bangs, and that was it. That was all I did. So you can see kind of the difference here. And remember, you can do your hair however you want to do it. Whatever's unique to you. So we just have to let this dry, and then we should be good to go.